If you go to civitai.com in the model section, you can find a lot of interesting model which has different styles. One of the most popular of them is the Dream Shaper, which recently released an update for the Dream Shaper Excel Turbo version. Today, we're going to try this extension and compare it with the Dream Shaper Excel to see the difference between them. We're going to compare the render time and also the quality of these images. So without further ado, let's get into tutorial. Before you start, make sure to download the Dream Shaper Excel Turbo version here and make sure to place it into checkpoint folder. Go to the ConfigUI folder, into model, go to checkpoint and paste your model here. Now we can start our ConfigUI to use the Stream Shaper Turbo version. For those of you who don't know what is the difference between the Turbo version and the classic version, is that the Turbo version uses less CFG and steps, which result in the generation of best quality of images in a short amount of time. Here you can see that this Turbo version uses a CFG scale or two and a four and sampling step of between four and seven. Okay. Let's try this out. I'm gonna start with the classic Comfy UI default workflow. First, I'm gonna increase the resolution. Then, I'm gonna select our Dream Shaper Excel. In the key sampler, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change the sampler name to DPM plus plus, and the shader to chaos. Let's reduce the CHG scale to 1.5, and I'm gonna choose a steps value of 10. Also, I want to compare this Dream Shaper Turbo version with the Dream Shaper Excel version. So I'm going to select everything, click copy and paste, use shift and drag the new workflow here. Dream Shaper Excel. I'm going to change the CFG scale to 4 or maybe 5 and put the step to Menu. Let's delete the save image node and I'm gonna add a preview image. Okay, now we're gonna use different prompts from the website directly. Just Enter the image, then click copy prompt and paste it here. I'm gonna also copy the negative prompt and paste it here. We can change the color of the clip text red for the negative and green for the positive. We're gonna do the same here. Okay, I'm gonna also change the resolution since it is a classic version of the Dream Shaper that works only with this resolution. I'm gonna also change the model here to Dream Shaper, the classic one. And let's compare the generation time and the quality of these images. So I'm gonna click Q prompt. Here we have our first image. Let's wait for the Dream Shaper. And here we have our second image. The generation time took 39 seconds to create those images. However, the Dream Shaper Turbo version was 
was created with higher resolution than the Dreamshaper one. So we're gonna do one more try with another font. Let's try this tiny version. I'm gonna do the same thing, copy and paste the prompt directly. Let's click your prompt and see this image. It looks bad here since it has a bad face. You can see that the Dream Shaper Classic one is more faster for generating images. However, don't forget that we have different resolution here. And wow. Here we have more resolution and also more details and quality. You can see the difference. Now let's change the model here. We're going to do an STXL model. Like this STXL, yeah, more realistic. Also, I'm going to change the resolution. And let's compare both quality and image time. Here we have again our turbo version, which is awesome. Now let's wait for the second model to generate the images. As you can see, it takes more time to generate this image. And let's wait for the quality to judge it. Wow, it looks awesome too, but we can see that the generated time for the STX actual version is more important. So let's try another font. I'm gonna use this painting image. Just copy and paste the prompt again. Don't forget the negative prompt. And let's click Q prompt. For this one, they practically took the same amount of time. However, I like this Dream Shaper Turbo version and more. And this can be explained by the fact when you load the model for the first time, it took more time than usual. It is also the same case for the Dream Shaper Excel Turbo. However, we can see that the CFG scale and the steps are less important than this STXL version. Okay, let's do another try with another prompt. I'm gonna select this Pikachu over here. And do the same thing, copy and paste the prompt. However, this time we're gonna change this STXL checkpoint to the classic STXL. Okay, let's click your prompt and see what we got. That's our turbo version. And we're here, and here we have our STXL version. This one looks more like an anim style than this one. The Dream Shaper Turbo version, it's more realistic. Okay, I'm gonna also use another prompt for this dragon over here. Let's see what we got. So it seems that this Dream Turbo version seems more faster than other STXL models and sometimes they generated the images in the same amount of time. However, the main difference results in the CFG scales and the steps. For the Turbo version, it took less steps than other version. Also, I noticed that the main difference re resides in the consistency of the images. As we can see here, more complicated shapes 
are less impressive over all the SDX cell version. So that's it for today's tutorial. Don't forget to use this Dream Shaper Excel Turbo version. You can find the link on the description. It is a good model if you want to generate images with a short amount of time. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and push the like button for me. Next time I'm gonna try to use this model with animated SDXL version. So thank you for watching and see you next time.